Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, there's a story that was published by the Daily Nation with the headline Wetangula linked to ballot printing. This story has caused a lot of storm in this country as far as election is concerned. Remember, we are only 33 days to the next general election. And according to this story, it is alleged that Senator Wetangula wrote a letter to the Greek ambassador to Kenya on June 2021 asking for one of his ally by the name Joshua Abdallah Makoha to get Schengen visa to enable him to travel to Greece. <laughs> now, why travel to Greece? It is also claimed that Makoha, at one point, who is Senator Tangula ally, met with a Greek businessman by the name, there are about three, Mr. Awa. David Anderson, he also met with Mr. Antonio Ramon Fernandazam, Fernandam, and Mr. Greeks Constantion, Constantion, hey, imagine, who are laid on these three, are alleged to be owning a farm by the name. Looks as a company that was awarded ballot tender in October 2021. <laughs> this story has caused a lot of storm in this country. And uh, the issue here is that the ODM side are now raising concern. How a Tangula, who happened to be in the Kenya Kwanza side, campaigning for William Samuel Ruto, has had his hand involved with the people who have been given a tender to print ballot this election. To an extent, even sending some of his allies to go and meet with these people in their company. So, this is a story. And uh, Junet Mohammed has responded to this issue. He is calling on Ibis to come clean with the relation between Wetangula and uh, Chebukati, who happened to come from same count, Bungoma count. <laughs> so I wanted to listen to Junet Mohammed. After that, we will also listen to Senator Wetangula respond. And we will understand really where this story is heading to, if for sure William Samuel Ruto want to play the ping pong game with the IBC to make sure that there is rigging in this election. Sasa leo jana tumegundua kashwa kubwa sana katika nchi yetu. Kashwa ya ballot papers, print, printing of ballot papers. Kuna jamaa ambaye ametuma watu uko Greece. Wakati ambaye IBC imeanza kutangaza uh, tenda ya, ya kununua ballot papers. Na tunataka senator wetangula ajitokeze kinaganaga. Mimi istai kujua atilewa nasema naenda kotili. Tujua naenda wapi. Wewe enda kotile unataka. Tukutane kotini ukitaka. Umetuma huko Greece. Mutu ambaye anaito Makoha Abdala. Ambaye natoka Bungoma. Na ukalika wale jamaa wa huko Greece hapa ati hawa ni wakezaji wafanye beshara ambayo wanataka kufanya uwekezaji huko Bungoma. Na hakuna kitu wamewekeza walikuwa umekuja kuelewana na wea hapa na tunajua ya kwamba ulifanya mkutano mara mingi huko Karen na chema ni IBC anaitwa Wafula Jebukati. Mkutano kwenda kujini muende. Mimi hiko hapa Nairobi. Na sisi tulikuwa tunapima nyinyi. Na tulijua hizo mkutano yenu yote 
vile mulipanga ballot paper sitoke huko Greece zingine ikuje hapa zingine ipelekwe huko Uganda tena mfanye huko ballot marking huko Uganda then mupitishe kwa boda ya Bungoma tena mulete hapa ndio uweke kwa ballot paper unafikiri sisi ni wajinga bani unafikiri sisi ni wajinga sisi tumeshajua mpango yenu yote ndio maana sasa lazima wa Kenya wajue vile mumepanga kuiba kura kwa sababu William Ruto anajua ya kwamba hawezi kushinda uchaguzi hii bila kuiba. Niseme nisiseme. Niseme nisiseme. Shetani ashi. Sasa tunataka chema ni IBC. Wafula jebukati. Come clean. Come out clearly and tell Kenyans what is the position of that matter. This is not a matter that can be taken lightly. It's a ballot paper is a very critical instrument in the election process. And we want to have ballot papers ambazo zimetengenezwa kwa njia safi. Mimi nakumbuka wakati hii tender ballot papers zilipeanwa wale watu wanaitwa nini Public Procurement Oversight Authority wali cancel hiyo tender. Jamaa akaenda kotini. Wakaenda high court wakatafuta injama hapo na pale ndani ya koti koti ikatupa hiyo uamuzi ya PPP PPOA Public Procurement Oversight Authority sasa mimi nataka kusema Chebukati tunajua vile ulifanya uchaguzi ya 2017 Maraga aka disqualify tukakuwa na shida hatutaki kurudia pale tulitokea wakenya wamerefuka sasa wakenya wanataka wakue na uchaguzi ya haki na ukweli na yamani Unajua mtu ambaye amezoea mtu ambaye amezoea ya kunyonga hawezi kula ya kuchinja si namna hiyo William Ruto yeye amezoea wizi peke yake hata uchaguzi pia anataka kuleta wizi lakini safari hii mimi nataka kuambia wafuasi wetu wote hapa Kenya Halo? mimi nataka kuambia wafuasi wetu Kenya nzima wakiwa Mount Kenya wawe Nyanza wawe Pwani wawe kila pahali huko ukambani tumejipanga tumejipanga na tunamulika hawa torch kila saa wakikata kona tunakata na hawa wakikata hivi tunakata na hawa sasa tumeweka hadhara ya kwamba kuna njama na hiyo mambo ya ballot printing Chebukati must come out clean and share with Kenyans what he knows and what deals he did with Senator Watangula now Watangula is claiming that he has not involved himself at any given point with the IBC and he has no any business as far as the printing of paper is concerned listen to him to make it very clear that uh, no amount of blackmail destruction or uh, or persuasion will uh, change us from the resolve to support a presidential candidate of our choice who is William Ruto now there are about Three to four issues I want to point out which seemingly suggest that William Samoy Ruto has some people deep at IBC who are working for him to make sure that he will be announced the winner. I want to point out those issues but before we go deep into that just a quick request you might be watching this channel but you have not yet subscribed So my humble request please consider subscribing so that another time once release a video like this one you will always get notified again to all our channel subscribers and anyone who drop comment i must say thank you so much for your unconditional support again i'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that youtube can recommend our videos to more viewers back to our discussion now for those who remember when william samuel ruto was launching his presidential bid officially After he got an endorsement from the UDA party, Moses Kuria attended that event and he got a chance to speak. There is something Kuria leaked to the public. And those those people who were in NASA could relate that story to what happened in 2017. Kuria was clear. And this is what he said, ni sisi tuliimbia tuliibia uhuru kura. <laughs> And he went further to say that those people who did that job are still with William Samoe Ruto. It's only few who are with the Uhuru Kenyatta. So for that reason, 
Ruto should not be worried in this election. The team is now behind him. Listen to Moses Kuria shortly. Kuna wengine wanasema ati kula ya mlima itagawanywa. Mheshimiwa Anwa Iguru. Mheshimiwa Rigathi Gashagwa. Mheshimiwa Ishungwa. Mheshimiwa Governor Mudomi Njuki. Mheshimiwa Senator Intuli. Mheshimiwa wa Matangi. Mheshimiwa wa Maua. Mheshimiwa Alice wa Home. Mheshimiwa Faith Ketao. Sisi ndio tulikuwa tunashidia uhuru kula na sisi ndio tulikuwa tunamwibia kula. Akili yote iliweka uhuru kwa kiti iko hapa. Ila iko azimio ni mwili peke yake. Because Uruak is one team, and it is not something new, we have done it before. Now, Moses Kuria remarks should not be taken lightly. This could be one of the indication that William Ruto has planted his own people within the IBC working for him. And the same way Raila Odinga was robbed in 2017, the same could be attempted in 2022. I don't know if they are going to succeed, but there, there could be an attempt of the same. And again, to show you that IBC could be lying on the same bed with William Samoy Ruto, look on some of the issues that have been witnessed in IBC for the past time. For those who remember the story of Sakaja, Sakaja presented its papers, there were complaints, and IBC came out clear that for them they don't verify those degrees. There are specific bodies that are involved in doing that. So they, they, they did not bother to verify Sakaja document. Okay, that was fine. Now, the body responsible for this went further to investigate Sakaja issue. And they wrote a letter to IBC confirming to them that they don't recognize Sakaja degree. They revoked that degree. For that reason, because IBC has no mandate to verify those decrees, they had to accept the decision of that body. What happened? Up to now, IBC did not listen to that. They rubbished that thing. That one aside. Now, go and check on the story of Senator Cleophas Malala. There was also questions behind about his uh, academic document, his degree. Someone went further to file a case in court, Kuleka Kameng, questioning Malala documents. But IBIS officer went to court to file an objection to stop the court from proceeding with that case. So what does that one tell you? The person who was supposed to file an objection here should have been Malala because he's the man in question and not IBC. They came clear, they don't verify this document for them, they just receive the document the way they are. But why did they go to an extent of filing an objection in court? It tells you, because Malala is in ANC party, ANC is with the William Samoy Ruto in Kenya Quartz. So you can see how these things are working here. <laughs> so all this points to one thing, that there is possibilities. We have some people in IBC who are working religiously 
in favor of William Samuel Ruto and his allies. You know, Senator Wetangula at one point, he was an assistant minister for foreign affairs. And during Quebec era, he was made a minister for foreign affairs. And he has been outside the, there for some time. So he has links with some of these people. And that's why you can see this story is trying to link him to the Greek embassy where he was writing a letter seeking for a visa for Joshua Abdallah Mako. You cannot ignore that. Wetangula has been out. He has links. So possibilities of doing that could be there. Therefore, the allegation they are putting in Wetangula should be investigated and interrogated to know where the truth is standing. Besides this, there was another story. When Ruto made a complaint to the European Union, Ruto quoted a specific figure. He never said about a million. He said about 800,000 people have been removed from IBC register from his stronghold. They have been transferred elsewhere. Ask yourself a question. Why is it that after that complaint, IBC came out to agree with Wetangula? Uh, sorry, with the William Ruto, that yes, it is true some people were transferred illegally from the IBC register. They were removed, by the way, from IBC register. Later, the exact number, 800, was reversed. Ruto alikuwa mesema hawa ni watu from his stronghold, meaning from Rift Valley and Mount Kenya region. How come that, that figure, you know, it was specific and exact. How did Ruto got these figures exactly how they were? How did he get to quote the exact figure? If Ruto does not have specific people within IBC working for him. And this should be a wake-up call for the Azmio, for Aila Odinga, and the mother Karua. If they are taking everything lightly, they should be informed that not everything is in order. Today, I'm seeing because of this issue, Raila is saying now, if Ruto, if Chebukati will not allow manual use of registered IBC, then there will be no election. No manual, no election. Now he's trying to come out with that. If they will not push Chebukati to come out clean on this kind of allegation, then should, they should prepare for the worst. If they were taking Moses Kuria lightly on what he was saying, then they should know that there could be a state capture this election by one man in this government, William Samway Ruto. I don't know what you think about this, but those are the few points I had to point out as far as this issue is concerned. So let us meet in the comment section. We continue with this conversation because now I'm waiting to read your reviews there that we can make this conversation even much more better for other people to understand it in a better way. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me up this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.